In this video, we'll be doing an investment word problem. Last year, Owen earned a total of $1,456 in interest from two investments. He invested a total of $28,000, part of it at 4.8% and the rest at 5.5%. How much did he invest at each rate? Now, to relate all this information, we'll be using interest is equal to principal times rate times time. The principal is the amount invested. The rate is the interest rate, or percent. And the time needs to be in years. And this is interest earned. So if we read through our problem, we start out saying last year. That means that the time is one year. And our question is, how much did he invest at each rate? So we'll need to use variables for each of those investments. Um, let's let x equal the amount invested at 4.8%. And we'll let y be the amount invested at 5.5%. So to get our total interest earned, we're going to need the principal times rate times time for the x amount, and then add to that the principal rate times time for the 5.5%. So the interest for the 4.8% is going to be x times 4.8% times 1, because our time is one year, plus, and then the interest earned on this amount is going to be y times 5.5% times 1. And that total interest we read here was $1,456. Now let's simplify this. We'll write each of these percents as decimals. Um, so this is, remember we move our decimal to the left two places. So this is 0 0.048 times x plus and then 0 0.055 times y is equal to 1456. Now since we have two variables, we're going to need two equations. x plus y is the total amount invested. And we can see from this sentence that he invested a total of $28,000. So we also have x plus y equals $28,000. So this is our system of equations that we're going to need to solve. I think I'm going to multiply this equation through by a thousand to get rid of our decimals. So I'll multiply each term by a thousand. And this equation then becomes 48x plus 55y equals 1456000. Then I think I'll use elimination. So I'm going to multiply every term here by negative 48. So this equation then becomes negative 48x minus 48y equals a negative 344000. So adding these two equations together, we can see that this term cancels. And I have 7y is equal to 112,000. Divide both sides by 7, it will cancel, and y is equal to 16,000. 
And this is the amount invested at 5.5%. Let me label that. And then the two investments totaled $28,000. So X is going to be 28,000 minus 16,000. So X is equal to $12,000. And I'll label that investment at 4.8%.